Stay focused and energized using G Fuel. You can use the discount code OGXRays to get 10% off your entire order. Yo guys, what's up, Texas? Welcome back to another video here. So I wanted to make this video to talk to you guys a little bit about Michael Condry. So as you guys know, there was a huge leak for Call of Duty World War II Zombies, and I'm talking huge leak. There was audio files leak, there was camos leak, there was perks leak, there was pretty much a ton, and I would say about like 80% of the stuff, maybe of the full game, was leaked for zombies, and that really, really sucks. It spreads like wildfire. And I also made a video about this. I didn't go super in depth with the leaks because I didn't want to destroy everything. And I also put a ton of spoiler warnings whenever I made those videos. So for you guys that were interested, you can check out the video. For you guys that don't want and want to be surprised when the game is officially out, then don't worry, I'm not going to be spoiling anything in here. The only thing I wanted to mention on here was talking a little bit about what Michael Condry's response was to this huge leak. Because this was huge. This was a ton. And not only this, but a few days before this, there was also leaks about Call of Duty World War II's multiplayer including the fact that there was going to be a uplink mode called gridiron and then also a multiplayer map that was officially confirmed pretty much after the leaks and now we have promotional images for both of those but before that i want to really quickly read out the statement that michael condry had regarding the leaks call of duty world war ii has been in development for nearly three years and we're now less than a month before launch we can't wait for the fans to experience it on November 3rd. With betas, there's always a risk that some people will try and spoil the experience for others. We have had a couple of things leak recently across multiplayer and zombies. It's disappointing for everyone involved in creating the game, but in the spirit of transparency, we want to be upfront about it. Some of the details were inaccurate, early, or still subject to change. Others we would consider spoilers. We never plan for leaks, but we also understand that it's hard for fans not to read the news when it's about something they're so excited to learn about. So that's what he said about the zombies. Just in general, they said they were disappointed, but they understand that if there's leaks, that people want to know about the leaks, so they're not as mad because they understand that, you know, as fans, we like getting as much information as we can. So big props to Michael Condry. A lot of people could have been freaked out. I know it kind of sucks for the studio that all this was leaked. Same thing happened with Black Ops 3. A ton was leaked for zombies. But it is the way that the game kind of goes. You kind of expect these kind of things to happen, especially with the PC beta having just been for Call of Duty World War II, and you just kind of expect it. So it sucks, but it is part of the game, and I'm really, really super proud of Michael Condry for understanding that it's all part of the game and just being super chill about it. So, Michael, you're pretty cool. Now, he also did mention about the multiplayer leak, and this one was actually pretty cool because he then went on to post official screenshots of Gridiron, which is Uplink, and then also the new map. So let's go ahead and read through that statement real quick as well. We are super proud of the game and cannot wait to play with the community. So please hang out for a bit as November 3rd is almost here. In the meantime, here's a photo of our London map in multiplayer. It's a studio favorite for Domination, Hardpoint, and TDM, and we think it could be a standout for the competitive season ahead. Also, it's a lot of fun for the new Gridiron game mode coming at launch here's the taste and then we obviously have the two images and i'm so happy i actually released these the map looks awesome great iron looks like it's going to be a ton of fun and just i think michael condry and sledgehammer games handled this situation professionally i love the fact that they were super transparent they said a lot of the stuff that was leaked there was stuff that was removed there was stuff that was incorrect there was stuff that was obviously spoilers but he said that he can't wait to show us what the final product is we're so close i'm excited hopefully you guys are excited but i wanted to cover this because i thought it was pretty interesting that michael condry replied to this you normally don't see any replies to leaks from any studio they kind of just kind of hope that it goes away so the fact that michael condry actually kind of shed some light on it and you know obviously this is also going to put more eyeballs because now people know the leaks are out there people are going to be searching for it it takes a pretty big person to be able to come out and be like yo the leaks happen here's some info on that transparency i think that's pretty sick so michael condry i think it's awesome that you were able to reply to this and do such a really good job just kind of embracing the whole sucky situation but anyways guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did drop a like on the video guys it does about it is appreciated and if you are new to the channel if you want to see even more content like this make sure you guys subscribe and you turn on notifications by hitting that little bell icon next to the sub button and if you want to also check out my gaming channel and twitter it's the best place to talk i'll see you guys next time like comment subscribe follow me on twitter i'm out peace